Hello and welcome to my channel. I plan to record my journey towards fire, financial independence, and retire early in this channel. Currently, I mainly focus on sharing my Canadian dividend stock investment journey and those stocks in my portfolio. This is the way that let money works for you and generate more money. In the future, I will also add contents introducing products that saves you money. So if you are interested in these topics, hit the like button to let me know. Subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification to get the latest update. And now, let's get started. Today, I'm going to introduce you one ETF that tracks the Nasdaq 100, that is QQC.TO. This ETF is provided by Invesco. It just released late this May, and it is a pretty new ETF. So, what is an ETF? ETF is Exchange Traded Fund which is a type of security that tracks an index, sector, commodity, or other asset, but which can be purchased or sold on a stock exchange the same way a regular stock can. So what does this mean? Briefly, an ETF is like a bottle of different stocks. It's like a basket that contains different stocks inside it. Instead of buying a lot of different individual stocks, Buying one ETF usually contains a lot of individual stocks inside it, which means ETF can save you a lot of energy and time when trying to buy stocks. For example, if you only buy, want to buy stocks of large companies in the US market, you can go for the S&P 500, which contains the 500 highest value company in the US market. And if you want to buy high-tech companies, you can go to buy ETFs that tracks the Nasdaq which are all high-tech companies. And for example, if you want to invest it in renewable energy or want to invest it in utilities, there are also ETFs for those areas. And you do not need to study those detailed companies within those areas. You can just buy one ETF that contains a lot of different companies in the areas that you want to invest in. When investing in individual stocks, we always want to diversify our portfolio so that we can minimize the risks that we might face. And buying one ETF, because it already contains a lot of different stocks diversified in the areas that you want to invest in, you are already minimize your risks. This is also one advantage of buying ETFs. ETF offers you a basket that saves your time and energy, and we can view that as kind of service, so of course it will have some charges. However, ETFs offer low expense ratios and fewer broker commissions than buying the stocks individually does. It also has much lower management fees than mutual funds. And for the ETF today, that is QQC, it tracks the Nasdaq 100 index, which offers us the access to a portfolio of large cap, innovative, and fast growing non financial companies. So if you want to add some technology sectors into your portfolio, then Nasdaq 100 index definitely will be something worth to look at. As Nasdaq 100 index is highly exposed to information technology, even though it also has some exposure to other growth-oriented sectors like communication services, consumer discretionary, and healthcare. Another thing worth to note is that Nasdaq 100 index has historically outperformed the S&P 500 index over the long time. If we look at the historic performance in the past five years, the Nasdaq 100 has a return of over 200%, which is quite impressive. So if you are a long-term investor like me, then I think Nasdaq 100 index as well as S&P 500 index are two indexes that we definitely want to have a look at. So what are the top 10 holdings of this ETF? From here, we can find that the top 10 holdings in this ETF is Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, Alphabet, Tesla, Facebook, Nvidia, PayPal, Intel, and Comcast. All those big names in the information technology fields. So when you buy this ETF, you know you are heavily invested in the technology sector and you are invested in those solid, highly innovative, and large cap companies. And if you are an investor who wants capital growth over the long term, who wants to get exposure to the US equities, 
who wants to own or plan to own other types of investments to diversify your holdings and are comfortable with medium risk, then this ETF may be suitable to you. And what about the fees? So for this ETF, its annual management fee has been reduced from 0.25% to 0.2% on May 14, 2021. A 0.2% management fee for an ETF is in a quite acceptable range. Currently, I hold 31 shares of QQC in my TFSA account with a total value of around $700. My average buy-in price is $22.76, and this ETF takes up 2.4% of my entire portfolio. My autumn return is 1.5% down, meaning that I have lost around $10 on this ETF since investment. However, even though I'm at a teeny loss on this ETF, I'm not too worried about it because I know within this ETF, I'm investing in Apple, I'm investing in Google, I'm investing in Facebook, Nvidia, PayPal, all those large tech companies that you know that play a pretty important role in the world today. And we also know that in the long term, the Nasdaq 100 index will give us a pretty nice return. So all I need to do is to keep investing in more of this ETF if I have extra money and wait for longer time to enjoy the capital gain in the future. So have you already invested in Nasdaq 100? Which ETF did you buy? How do you think of QQC? If you like this ETF, feel free to leave a comment to let me know. Thanks for watching my video. If you enjoy the content, please hit the like button and subscribe my channel. If you are looking for a zero commission fee investing platform, I recommend you Wealthimple Trade. If you are looking for instant money transfer between friends, then Wealthimple Cash will be the right platform for you. Need a high interest, no fees. Need a high interest, no fee saving account? Have a look at EQ Bank. It offers higher interest than any of the big five banks and has no banking fee. Additionally, if you are looking for great credit cards, I recommend Brim World Allied Mastercard and Neo Card. I personally use them and enjoy the cashbacks they have to offer. More details about these cards can be found in my channel. And if you use my referral links in the description, you will get referral bonus for having these great products. You will get referral bonus for having these great products. Thanks again for watching my video and I'll see you in my next video.